Hey everyone, it's Jessica here and today I'm busting some acrylic stash with a few of my scrappy friends and I'm going to create a fun wintry layout with my snowmobile photo here. Um, this is actually a very, very recent photo. Um, I just printed it from this past uh, weekend whenever we were out snowmobiling and I am starting off with a 49 and market background paper. It's kind of a subtle paper, but it's got some lines in it. It kind of looks like a bullseye design or something like that with a grid. So I'm actually going to put some thread on here. So I'm poking some holes in these uh, kind of like in some lines here so that I can thread some embroidery floss right through my layout. So I'm going to grab some black embroidery floss and um, my needle threader because my eyes are pretty sucky at this point in my life. So <laughs> I'm going to grab that and thread some um, thread through here. So I've got all those holes punched now, as you can see there on the screen, and I've got my thread here that I'm going to use. This is kind of like an ombre black mixed in with some grays and whites, and it's really super pretty. So I'm going to use that today. I just start by taking a very big piece, as long as I can get it here without it knotting up, and um, I just pulled it the whole way through and then taped down that end, and then I'm just going to continue um, using the same thread. I'm not going to cut it in between because I feel like it's going to be a lot faster this way. I'm going to waste a little bit more product as far as my thread, but I don't care. I have a lot of this stuff and probably enough to last me a lifetime. So I'm just going to continue my strand and just keep threading back and forth. And my needle that I'm using are actually the needles by So Easy. And it comes with the needles and some different like punchers uh, for the hole designs and also the pad that I used whenever I was punching out my holes. And they are like a blunt tip for paper versus a pointy tip, so you don't have to worry about stabbing yourself or anything. So when I'm doing things like this, I like to use those needles. So I've got my acrylic pieces here that I'm going to be stash busting today. These are some from Color Cast Designs. I've got some snowflakes here and this beautiful title piece that says Let It Snow, which is just perfect for my photo. I've grabbed some 49 and Market little embellishments here as far as as well as uh, this background paper by the warm and cozy collection by echo park that's all that i'm going to use on that i can't find my edge distressor don't have any idea where it is at this point i'm just going to use my scissors so if you don't have one of those i always mention that you can use your scissors this is how you do it so i think my baby girl actually made off with it and i have no idea where it is right now um, <sighs> but i do manage to find it a little bit later so i'll show you that in a second I'm going to take some tissue paper here. Um, these are just a couple tissue papers that I had in a package from Christmas, and I thought they were really pretty, so I saved them. Um, one's like a pink, and then the other one's kind of like a silver. Hey, there's my edge dresser. My baby girl hit it in with my mixed media. Can you imagine that? <laughs> She's always taking my stuff. So, um, yeah, my tissue paper was from Christmas. It just has a couple different designs that I tucked behind my photo. And here I'm pulling out the newer collection by Simple Stories. I think it's called Winter Wonder. And um, I'm just using this cute little border strip on the bottom of my photo just to add a little bit more interest there. And I'm just going to see what else I can use. I really like those little wordy bits that are in this sticker book. Um, you guys have seen my layouts before. You know that I absolutely am fangirling over all of these sticker books by Simple Stories. I love them. I use them a ton and I always recommend them because they just are jam-packed with things that you can use on your layouts. Mm -hmm. So I like this little label. I'm going to tuck that guy up there with my date stamp by Paige Evans, just stapling my tissue paper layers together to create some reinforcement there. And I'll add a little bit of Nuva glue to that too. That way it sticks down pretty good. So um, here I'm just going to add uh, another little tab there at the top of my photo. Here's where I'm going in with my Nuvo glue. It's going to dry clear and hold all those layers together so I won't have any issues there. And then I'm going to pop uh, some tape runner glue down here, adhesive on my layout, and I am just going to stick that down. Um, so I've got my beautiful pattern behind here with all my threads. As you can see, that is all finished and done. Um, I finished that up a while ago and just never mentioned it. But um, I just wanted it to kind of look like a sunburst pattern. But now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like a snowflake. 
So I've um, pulled out a whole bunch of random embellishments for my stash. Those ones there that I just used were from Citrus Twist Kits. And um, these are more from the Winter Wonder Collection by Simple Stories that I have here on my desk. So I pulled out some of these puffy stickers. I'm pretty much going to stick with that collection from here on out and just use a bunch of different embellishments and some stickers. Um, then I'll grab some sequins from the Not Just For Boys Kit Club and add those in as well. So I wanted to do a little bit of journaling underneath here. Um, so I'm going to add that and I'm going to add a whole bunch of these cute little wordy bits from the sticker book because they're just adorable. And I wanted to just build on this um, so that I could add my journaling here underneath. I just drew some crazy lines and just wrote a little bit about the temperatures that day because it was pretty cold. Um, it was like 19 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't super cold. We've actually gone when it was like eight degrees, which is really cold whenever you're on a snowmobile. But luckily we have pretty good snowmobile gear, so um, we stay pretty warm. But it was it was cold and it was noticeable and it was kind of windy. But it was so weird because it actually made um, the snow really powdery. Um, it's not typically that, um, flowy and powdery and kind of like in your face, but it was really, really powdery that day. And I think it was just because it was so cold <laughs> and we actually ran into some icy spots too, which was a little bit of an adventure, <laughs> but I actually stuck my cup down on my title piece for a minute just to hold that down, um, because it's kind of heavy. So I didn't feel like holding it myself. So I just left it to apply some pressure. It's got a nice rubber bottom on it, so it's good for that. So I am just continuing to embellish and scatter little stickers and different things around my layout, gluing everything down with my Nouveau glue here, which dries clear so I don't have to worry about it peeking through or anything like that. Um, some of these acrylics do still have the backing pieces on them, so I'm just peeling them off as I go, sticking those down. And look how beautiful that one is. It's really super sparkly, and I just love it. That one's white. Oh, I just love all these pretty snowflakes. I need to like see if she makes a whole pack of those snowflakes because I feel like I use them so much. So I'm just gluing down all the other bits and that's pretty much going to finish this layout off as soon as I get everything glued down and added on here. Um, make sure that you pop down in the description and check out what my friends created today because I know they have some amazing layouts for you as well. And you can hop along with all theirs and follow them on Insta and all that good stuff. So um, thank you guys so much for being here and thanks for watching. And then I will pop in at the end here and show you the finished layout. So here is the finished layout. I just love how this one came out with all that sparkly goodness on there. And it's just so beautiful with those threads and that 49 and market paper and all of that goodness on there. So thank you guys for being here and thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.